We're out here at the Ernest F. Howling's National Wildlife Area. They're closed on the weekend, so you gotta park out of the gate and either hike or walk in. It's like 91 today. So it's a little warm. Usually there's a raccoon that I've seen wandering around here. I hadn't seen them yet today. We're gonna take the first trail. I've seen a uh, glossy ibis before on this first trail that we're gonna ride. Big grass. Maybe a little warm for the raccoon, but I've seen them every time I've come, usually in this area. There's a nice breeze today. That's certainly helpful. The Alexander Pond Trail. It's nice that they cut it. Been here before and it'll be overgrown. But it's super nice that they cut it. Probably do a little short loop today, but it being so warm already about two o'clock as well doesn't look like there's oh there's a little blue heron a corner on I think they can get a good look at it Little red winged blackbird. I guess it's a little warm for everything today. There's a little egret over on the levee. So that's the Alexander Pond Trail. And then these are the rice fields that are only open between February and November. During the winter they close it down. I think we're going to take the loop by the Goose Pond today. Things green, that's for sure. It's gotten a lot greener out here since the last time I came. came from. Usually how it works out here. I don't know if you can see but out there in the distance is the bridge to Edisto. The 
this is the, they call it the goose pond. There's no goose, and there's no pond. It's more like goose field. And there's no geese in the goose field. I've never seen a, a goose here before. Prints tracks ground. It's a nice breeze. came across the cross dike from over there at the trees. It's really warm out here with this black sand. But um while the camera was off, the osprey flew over. And there was also a great blue hair. So we're gonna keep moving. I think that's the osprey flying over there above the trees. Maybe it's not buzzing. I don't know if you can see right over there in the top of the dead trees is the osprey nest. Last time I was here, um, there were two of them on it, on the nest. I was able to snag a picture of them. But once we get a little closer, we'll... I can't tell if there's one up there today or not. This black sand though, Makes it a whole lot warmer. I remember back in March, it was probably 60 or 70 out, and it felt like it was about 80 with this black sand reflecting the sun up. So today, with it being 90, it feels like you're in the middle of the desert. Luckily, there's this breeze, it helps a lot. Can't tell if there's osprey or not. I don't think so. No. We'll zoom in and take a picture just to be on the safe side to get around right here. No, there's not one up there today. Cormorant out there flying. Snake bird.
yeah, there's the bridge in the distance. So that's the rice fields loop. Which is only open once again February 1st through November 1st. During the winter months, it's closed for the waterfowl. So, we're coming up to the back of the visitor center now. Of course, it's Monday through Friday, 8 to 4 or 9 to 4. So, never have gotten a chance to make it inside. It's a cute little building. 